let me just set the stage here. Elder Priest Sabak of the House of Israel was married to his sister Dania. She even had his name on her toes, the pedicure. They had a falling out, all type of crazy shit was happening, whatever the case is. I believe that she wanted to leave and left. She got with an Old Testament dude in Brooklyn. I think she got with some other guy after that. Mind you, Zabak was going down to D.C. to help Kornoff build FOPE camp because he can't do it on his own, mind you that. Because I was already out the picture. I was down in Augusta, Georgia. So Zabak was coming down there. The House of Israel was coming down there along with the other celebrity Hebrews to come over there and help build a camp that he had no ability or capability to do with his own. But besides the fact, Zabak was coming to the house. It was a fellowship and they was coming up to New York. Been coming up to New York even with me. You see what I'm saying? So they, you know, kept the Passover with us in the house of Israel. Zabak, we got next and all that stuff like that. He knows his brother very well. He also knows the Hebrew one. Zabak and Daniel was in his house and did interviews and all that. Mighty Hebrew. Another brother. Old Testament based. Him and Kornav had a relationship where that was cool. He came to do an interview in his house. And she wanted to leave the Hebrew, the, the mighty Hebrew, and this is what she does anyway. But it's not about her right now. It's the point is that this guy, the Kornav, always talk about somebody about adultery. Right? And all the women in the world. And he has his one words. He must have her. He must have that Quba. His brother's Quba. It's a box Quba. Then two rules removed, mighty he was Quba. And then I figured he said, well, we're saying during the course of the time, because he said he knew her previously before all of them. Shit, I was supposed to get the Quba. That's what it is. I'm gonna get this. I'm going to get the coupon now. I got next. I'm trying to figure out why you, why you all on me. What's the problem, brother? Leave me alone. Hey, last night, it's called. You don't hear that? I like women, bro. I like women. I'm married 22 years with a beautiful wife. One wife, not a thousand, not a hundred children. I'm not taking care, of, right? That's what I'm about. And I don't want to avoid the question. You're going to answer that question. You're about, and I answer the question you asked me. And I, I answer it. Let me ask it again. I'm going to give it to you, right? Because I see people in chat saying that you're not okay. answering the question. People are saying you had Sabak in your house at one time. And you had Mighty Hebrew in your house at one time or another. And that woman was married to both of them. Why would you lay with her knowing that Sabak and Mighty Hebrew had her as a wife before you? They're saying that that's adultery. So I'm giving you the floor to answer the questions. Go ahead. So, okay, if somebody divorced, is that, is that adultery? I'm, you, the floor is yours. You answer it. Somebody, I'm, I'm only, right, right. If I would say somebody divorced, right, or you met somebody who already had children, woman already had children, they divorced, and you uh, married that woman, that's adultery. So it is. Right, right. If I would say somebody divorced, right, or you met somebody who already had children, Woman already had children, they divorced, and you uh, married that woman as a culture. He told it is because a woman can't get another husband unless the husband dies. Right? So we all can. So if you want to say that's a culture, then you have to put a culture. So if you want to say that's a culture, then you have to put a culture. So if you want to say that's a culture, then you have to put a culture. I'm going to tell you why. Because that was some dirty shit. 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 But guess what? I knew her before. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. But, but guess what? I knew her before. Uh, uh, Sabah, I knew her before. Then, uh, uh. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha HaQuadash, Quadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Salute and honors to your other elders, your brethren. All you fellow believers of this ministry, and that includes you sincere sisters as well, all you supporters of the of the uh, the doctrine. 
and shalom to the elect so anyway um, this video here is more, one of the reasons why we say to keep the women out of it especially in the churches it's going to be adultery have we not learned anything from before Romans 15 and 4 I believe it says things that are written aforetime was written for uh, for us to understand the day now this is nothing different than a than the church of Corinth, man, and things that was going on in the church. Same thing. Now, what I want to do is get a few scriptures, but also I want to say in a short commentary before I get started that this woman, right, HOI has had some problem with adultery in the past. We're not going to bring that up, but we, we're going to talk about Fopi and, uh, you know, the women, the gurus, and uh, I mean, what, what do they call them? I mean, we could call them idol worshipers or whatever, but they're not even there to surely worship, you know, these men, right? They're there because of the power, right? They like the authority and the power that these men give. Now, I don't know if any other brothers did videos on these guys or this situation, but I'm just going to say, you know, say my part. Now, you heard this man, Fopi, say, um, in the beginning, in the beginning of the clip, you heard him say he knew the woman before the mighty Hebrew and Zabak. So that tells you that this woman was in link with all these men. And the question is, why is this woman linked into all these men? And why would you be a man of the Lord? And as we read the stories in the Bible and have your women linked whatever woman you have linked with all these men. This is why, why it's not good for even brothers that might have wives and then they, they hook up and then their wives talk with them. Maybe some rare cases it may work out, but it's not a good idea. The two wives talk while the two brothers are talking and then a lot of gossip starts spewing aboard when something goes wrong and then even adultery can come out of that. We've seen that uh, in many camps. You know, so so the question is this uh, this uh, Fopi he says we all committed adultery, which is true. That's why we have the blood of the blood of the Messiah to cover us for the sins that we've committed. But now that you've woken up to the truth, what the hell are you doing now? Now they now they're making the excuse. See, this is madness. Anyway, let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 5 and 21. Neither shall, neither that shall thy desire thy neighbor's wife, neither shall thy covet thy neighbor's house, his field or his maid, manservant or his maidservant, his ox or his ass, or anything that is in thy neighbor's. So we're the children of Israel. So you know this is going to happen while we're in captivity. Why? Because the children of Israel are, is in want for all things. So that mindset of wicked apostasy, right? We'll get into that, Lord's will. Uh, this is what they do, right? They're not, they're not uh, satisfied with their daily bread, right? They want the bread, the loaves. Hell, they want to take the whole supermarket if they can, man. You know, that includes your wife, you know. If they can convert your children to a false doctrine, they'll do that too. You got to think that's what will happen. Um, this is Matthew 5 and 28 it says but I say unto you whosoever looks at a woman to lust of her has already committed adultery in with her in his heart now the Christians will read this and say see you're not supposed to look at a woman see it's just kind of crazy how they left that other part out somehow in the Greek manuscripts or the translations whatever reason they left out that this was a precept to cross reference to Exodus 20 and 17. You shall not cover your neighbor's house. You shall not cover your neighbor's wife. Right? That's why you see no law in there. Uh, whenever it talks about adultery, it's talking about a, another man's wife. It never says adultery is just being with another woman. But they kind of left that part out in Matthew 5 and 28. Uh, but us who are to know, we do the research, 
and uh, we put it together, right? Uh, this is, let me go back here, Matthew 5 and 28, yep. Uh, cause it says, but I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his uh, wife, right, saying, let me go on down here. Let me go back. Matthew 5, and I think it was 31, the computer jumped. So this is, this is Matthew 5, and this is going into the divorce. Right, this is going into the divorce, Matthew 5 and 31. It has been said, this is what we see in Deuteronomy 24, as I just read, whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of, div of divorcement. But I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the uh, cause of fornication, right, cause her to commit adultery, right, and whosoever shall marry her, that is divorced committed for adultery already so now that we understand what the scriptures is talking about why are we doing this you know what i'm saying now why are you going and congregating with other brothers congregating with their wives mixing back and forth this is why paul said in uh is it timothy the third chapter um if a man basically if uh if a, a bishop must be blameless, the husband of one wife, right? That was actually talking about, he is really talking about the woman being passed around. And he couldn't under, he couldn't know if he was the husband of one wife because of the confusion in the churches. Now, wives already. But this is why they would say the husband of one wife. Because if he already had three wives, he was not uh, uh, committed. Well, he was not commanded to put the two away and keep the one because again we see adultery there and when you do the history they had bishops that had wives right but you they didn't paul was going into that because if you married any of these women in these churches they've already uh been passed around and then you had men that got rid of them for simple reasons that they shouldn't have got rid of them for you know they were just practicing whoredom you know um let me go here that word adultery goes to um figuratively adulterer and we go to apostate right i think it means to, to, when you go to the other translation it means to fall backwards to fall away from basically a, a reprobate you know an act of refusing to continue to follow, or, well, here we go, obey or re recognize religious faith, abandonment of previous loyalty, defection. That's what it says here, defection. And defection means conscious abandonment of, of the allegiance or allegiance of duty as to person, cause, or doctrine, desertion. And these words just keep going on. Deserting the abandonment, basically, of doctrine. Of, I mean, of doctrine and legal justification of a person relationship or duties or obligations. So these are religious apostasies, you know. Um, let's see what Solomon said. Let's go to Matthew 7 and 15 first. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Right? And that's what this guy did. This guy was scoping out, okay, these these uh, other Israelites' wives just waiting. But what's crazy is when they have these functions and they have these Passovers and these get-togethers, those eyes are moving, man. Right, because you got to understand the majority of these women that come in there, and some of the men, but the majority of these women are coming in there is, is under a carnal mindset. They under uh, this looks glamorous, you know. Some of them a little bit older, so they they know they're not going to be they done hit the wall, so they know that they're not going to be an NBA star's wife, right? Or they know they're not going to be some great singer, so they already hit the wall. They know their life that part is past. 
So they find a new niche and a new hook to become popular somewhere else. But, you know, I don't understand how you go from Zabak to Fopi, but maybe Fopi was the next hot topic, right? Or the, the Hebrew, Hebrew something, I forgot his name, the mighty Hebrew, who was an Old Testament Israelite. And all these guys get together and, and unite in one doctrine. And somehow these women know all of them. This particular woman, let me say that, know all of them. You got to hide your wives from these uh, uh, apostasies, man. These wolves in sheep's clothing. You got to hide. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 7 and 28. This is why if you're a woman in the faith and you believe in the truth, you right, you got to humble yourself and stay in the back. Don't be all out in the front. Trying to be seen with brothers, which we don't go through that anyway. You got some of these brothers at the, I think the Wi-Fi or the FOPI. You know, some of these camps, they take a little bit from HOI. They take a little of our teachings. They take a little of IUIC. Sakari too, take a little of IUIC. They take a little of um, FOPI. They got their women out at the camp while they're teaching with their long hair. One camp I saw, there was a woman over there when they was getting into it. She had all this long gray hair, right, and a long skirt, and a, and I guess the the captain or whatever had to push her back out of the way while the confrontation was going on because maybe that was somebody's wife, and then, you know how women are, somebody getting in the man's face, the woman want to step up and defend the man because that's her honor, so you know how it goes. So now you out there speaking or you bringing your wife to the to the uh, to the church, and you're out there on the hedges teaching, and the next speaker comes up. He's po more powerful than you. He remembers more scriptures than you. He got more breakdowns. He might even have a better look. Well, guess where that woman's eyes going to go, man? Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't want to believe things we say, but you know, it's what it is. Women love power, right? Uh, Ecclesiastes seven and twenty eight. Uh, let me go up. Let me go up a little bit more. Ecclesiastes 7 and, and 25. And I find more bitter, more bitter. Let me go up here, 25. I apply my heart to know and to search out and to seek out wisdom, right? And the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. And I find more bitter than death, the woman. You know what that means? Death is suffering. You know, you might, you know, if, if he's talking about a bitter death of suffering. You might have got stabbed and you're ready to perish. But the woman will make you feel much worse than that. Especially some of you who've been hurt by women. Uh, I, I know a brother that's going through it now. And I had some talks with the brother. Because I know he's hurting behind it. And I always let him know that you more likely love her more because, you know, she would be the pos possession. You're the one uh, messing with her, entering her. Now, women, they don't mind you having other women as, uh, you know, for the most part until they get you for themselves. Like if you're a popular guy, women don't mind it. They'll come and mess with you and everything until they get you for themselves then they don't want you to have the other woman you see what I'm saying so you know then you hurt and you worried another man messing with your wife and you know your, your mind is all screwy right because you fall harder and I try to prepare brothers for that hey, yeah it might be great now but when it's time to from the, the glory of love falls you'll feel it Right? Let me go on. It says, and I find more bitter to death the woman whose heart is snares and nets. This woman knew what she was going to do, I'm pretty sure, long before any of that happened. She she got a list. She got like a bucket list or a bed list. She like Zabak. I'm going to get the mighty Hebrew. I'm going to get uh, Quanoff. And on the way, I'm going to see what other man I could get. And you know what this woman do? She'll meet you and start talking to you and make you feel like and talk shit on him, the man she was with before, and make you feel like the better man. You jakes don't get it, man. Uh, 
and uh, whose hearts are snares and nets, right? And her hands is bands. Whosoever shall please the Lord shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Behold, this have I found, right? Saith the preacher, count of one by one, to find out the account which my soul seeketh. But I find not one man among a thousand. What it says, but I find not one man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. So, you know, that's pretty much to the point. This guy Fopi and you know this these gurus that claim to know the Bible and all this madness they in, they just hidden down through a path of destruction. That's all I have on that. Shalom.